Hey nerds, welcome back to episode 6 now of um, Feed the Beast, uh, what is it, the Monster Pack. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded the last episode, it's been a good 10-12 days maybe. Uh, also, apologies if you quickly, just if you hear some background noise, there's some discussions going on downstairs or something, I don't know. Oops. Uh, let's go down to the bottom floor. Um, and now the reason I haven't, there's been a mixture of reasons why I haven't played, as you can see a creeper exploded here. I'm trying to make it ice again, but I don't know how that's going to go down. Um, how's our power holding up? I need water. Still need to set up some automatic. We'll do that today. We'll get some pipes or something. I don't know. Um, let's hop down here so we don't ruin that ice. What was I saying? Now? There's a couple of reasons why I didn't um, upload. Uh, one is I was working. I was going overtime on that parody for Liam. Actually, we can just take um, stuff from here, can't we? Yeah. There we go. How many is that now? Yeah, that's plenty. And this is going up. This is going up. Okay, brilliant. Um, so there's a couple of reasons. Uh, the parody was one of the bigger reasons. And two is I've been a little bit lost. Um, I guess that's the right word for it. Uh, this monster pack is so huge that... Uh, okay, 143 items. Uh, there's so many different mods in this. I've been kind of getting swamped under it all, not knowing where, what to do, what to start. So I've decided I'm going to focus on... I'm going to choose a few mods and I'm going to focus on them. Uh, and then we'll expand and expand and expand until like, I know a lot of the stuff. Because um, a lot of these mods I've never touched before and a lot of them have updated since I last played. Um, so I know two of the mods I'm going to choose to focus on now are Thomcraft, because that, that is a really powerful mod at the moment. And um, the bees as well, just because I know a lot about them. I consider myself, you know, I consider myself an expert on the bees. Uh, so we're going to focus on them. We're also going to obviously work on uh, upgrading our power supply because this is a bit pathetic at the moment. Uh, but I'm hoping that the other mods will tie into that. Like the bees, they can power it, which is what I want to use in the end, is the bee power. Um, and also I realised another thing that I'm not liking too much is this. Um, I don't like that my base is already laid out for me. It's really difficult. Uh, especially because a lot of it is just corridors. So I'm thinking of uh, changing the purpose of this at the moment, and this is going to be my bee factory. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. So down here, we're going to dedicate to bees, and it'd be cool because we can have aviaries on the sides of the corridors here. We'll strip it out completely, almost. Um, and I'm, I'll be much happier about that because this isn't—it's not very—it's not a very high-functioning base. That being mostly corridors and stuff. So that's one of the things I've been struggling with is trying to figure out what because I've kind of centered my series around this place now um, and I was trying to struggle trying to think of what I could fill this thing with to make it functional but I think a bee factory is the best way to go uh, now what was I going to do oh yeah guys we, we finally got the leather to do it where is it where's my leather where's my leather oh it's in my inventory okay uh, we finally got enough to do it I've been wanting to do this since I first saw the thing uh, we should have the book somewhere. Uh, open blocks. We are going to be making ourselves. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. That's not how you do it, you idiot. Hang gliders today. And we're going to be playing around with them. Uh, I've been waiting to do this for so long. How do you do this now? Uh, hold on. Let's open up the book. Blocks, uh, have I? Yeah, I've already had a sprinkler. Radio, paint mixer. I want to do some more stuff with this as well. I want to get into this. This looks really cool. Where are you, stupid hang glider? Items. Sonic hang glider. Oh, it's a stick in the middle. That cursor looks pretty cool. So we're going to... I want to do more open block stuff as well, because that's a pretty interesting mod. I mean, look at this stuff. Elevator. That's, what, that's like the key thing in our house at the moment, is the elevators. Radios, paint mixer, building guide, bear traps, all this kind of stuff is going to be all, let's get onto the roof. It's going to be pretty uh, interesting. Now, how do we use this thing? Oh, oh, right click it. Awesome. So now it should be on my back. And we just, do we just jump off? <gasps> we just jump off and now we're flying. Oh, and then, did we hold space to fly, shift to fly faster? Yes, we do. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this thing, and then when we land, it goes on our back. Oh my days. Let's get back up there. Oops. That's going to be a bit... 
Every time I go up the elevator, I fly a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to jump off. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, this is going to be so much better. Except there's a little bit. Let's attempt to take it off. It's going to be a little bit of a hassle trying to fly up to places. Let's see how far we can fly off the roof of our house. Um, I think if I hold shift, I go faster, but I also fall quicker. Wow, look at that distance. We can use it. Oh, we can like use it to f glide. Look at this. We're flying. I wonder. Hold on. I wonder if we can use it to swim. To swim faster. S uh, slowly sink. Okay, we're now under the water nearly. Uh, let's just get under the ice. Hey, look at this. Oh, wow, we can use it to fly. Like, not fly, sorry. To swim really fast. But they never thought of that when they built it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's that creeper hole? Where's the creeper hole? Where's the creeper hole? Oh. Can we get out of here? Using this? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. Quickly do this. Okay, I'm gonna climb up to the top of this thing here, and then we will uh, fly off the top and just fly around. For oh, so I made it to the top, and what do I see? But another rainbow tree. Oh wow, that rhymed. I'm awesome. Um, I don't know what these things are used for. I do know their leaves are dyes. Uh, if you look at them here, purple tree dye, and blue cyan tree dye. I don't know what they do. Um, so, oh, they just used to. They just literally dyes by the looks of things. Color upgrade, green dye. So yeah, it looks like we just got a bunch of dyes in this tree. Um, we can cut it down and have a look at it or something. Or oh, I might leave it because it's beautiful. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna go be going for an early morning hang gliding ride. And uh, let's get out our hang glider. I wonder if F five is the best mode for this. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We're walking in the air. Oh, oh, went to this mode. Okay, so that's what we look like. Apparently, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, and you can also pair the two, this thing up with a jetpack if you have one. I don't have one at the moment, but if you did, you can pair it up and like fly up, and the hang glider will fly up. Obviously, I can't do that, so I'm just gonna be constantly going down. Um, this is gonna be an amazing. Oh, I've got a really squeaky chair today. This is an amazing form of travel. Especially if we held the shift key at the same time. And we can fly. This is going to be amazing. It's going to change my life, this is. Let's fly back towards the place. Especially once we get the jetpack in and we can pretty much fly unlimited. unlimited. Uh, we're not going to make it. Oh, yes, we are. Whoa, oh, that was awesome. Oh, man, that is crazy. Wow. So, there's a few amendments that I'd like to make to our little setup out here. Um, wow, we've got loads of stuff that's been smelted. Brilliant. Um, obviously, at the moment, it's not refilling. We've got a lot of water in here, but it's not refilling itself. Obviously, this is going to keep going down the more that I, that I use it. And also, this chest isn't working for reasons that I don't know. Um, so, we're going to have to try and do something about that. I do have a theory, uh, and that is that if I make a hopper, I saw this somewhere. Um, when I was googling to see why it wouldn't work uh, apparently if you put a hopper and then a chest it'll work and that'd be brilliant so let's place a hopper uh, and then our chest and hopefully this will be problem solved uh, we need to grab some things that need smelting first um, I don't think aluminium can go in there I don't think I have anything that needs smelting but anyway let's just test it works with like cobblestone or something uh, cobblestone. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So it is, what does cobblestone do? So now that we've got that problem solved with the cobblestone that turns into sand, apparently, um, we have, which turns into glass. That's brilliant. We have one last problem to solve, and that is how to get water in there automatically. And the way we're going to do this is by building an aqueous accumulator. Uh, now this, when you put it into water, it will start automatically, um, why have I done that wrong? Yeah, I did. It'll start automatically making water, 
Um, well, not automatically, but I don't know how it works. Um, it takes the water block inside it and turns it into more water. Something like that. It just starts automatically creating water. Now, um, what we can use that water for is to refill our thing using a thing called a liquid duct. Let's get making this. Uh, no, a fluid duct. Sorry, not a liquid duct. Um, now, how did you? How do I finish making this? Oh, tin gears. Okay. Do I have any tin on me? No. Where's our tin gone? Should be in here somewhere. Uh, we've got a little bit of tin there. Oh wait, this is tin, isn't it? Yeah. Tin seems to have changed colours. Or something, I don't know. I've never seen tin that looks like that before. One gear. Two gears. Okay, that should be everything we need. Uh, glass. Servo. Machine frame and a bucket. Brilliant. That should be everything we need to start automatically pumping water in. Um, let's hop down here. The Ecobus accumulator needs to be surrounded by water, or not surrounded, but within two source blocks of water for it to actually work at its max efficiency. Um, so this is now full of water, as you can see, and we just need to place this in here. And this should have water in it, uh, as you can see here. Fluid water, yes. And this is completely full. So this is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Um, Obviously, I'm all out of stuff to smelt at the moment. Got some gravel, pulverized iron, pulverized metal, various things. Let's smelt this down. Uh, and as you can see, this is going down, but the water is staying the same, and so is the steam. This is good. This is very, very good. Uh, obviously, the coal is staying. This is going to go down as well. We need to try and figure out an alternative to that. Um, because I'm, I'm completely out of coal now. Um, I'm hoping we can use charcoal. Now, if we can use charcoal, we can um make a tree automatic tree farm using the um uh, what was it called ag, ag, ag tree farm it was called something something to do with ac and it automatically harvests trees which would be really useful for us um so i might look into that next episode however i think we're actually out of time not out of time but um if i started something new it would make the episode go on too long and if i end now it might be a bit too short um so next episode we're going to be look, having a look at the tree farm uh, I also want to look at some uh, a peat farm as well, because peat is actually a, an, a, quite an efficient for, source of um, energy, so that might help us a bit. Uh, and I'd also like to get started on the bees as well. I want to go out and harvest some bees, especially now that we've got our hand glider and we can travel, we can glide everywhere. Um, so yeah, things are looking up for us now, guys. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next episode. See you in the next episode. I said episode too many times then. Uh, anyway, goodbye guys, and I will see you next time.